Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share with you guys an everyday outfit. Um, this is something that I wear every day. Typically, during the day, I know I post a lot of my outfit of the night outfits. So um, this is what I would wear on any given weekday or weekend. Um, and then, you know, I kind of change into whatever I'm gonna wear, a dressier option for dinner or at nighttime. So yeah, just something that is kind of everyday based. Um, my everyday kind of uniform is shorts and a, a shirt of some sort, obviously. Um, but shorts and, you know, a pair of tennies or flats or sandals or even heels or wedges um, from time to time. And then a basic button down or um, just a t-shirt. And like t-shirts or like v-necks or something like that. So that is like my everyday all day long uh, uniform. It's comfortable, it's stylish, depending on how you pair things, and colors. And you can really take your typical shorts and make them quirky or preppy or however you know your style is. I think mine, I gravitate towards very preppy clothing, very preppy styles, um, but I like the quirk factor. Um, so I like for them to be maybe an odd color or an odd pattern or I pair my patterns together in an odd way. So while my style tends to be very, very preppy, at the same time it's kind of quirky. Um, and then I can be very trendy at the same time. And then my nighttime style is more edgy, um, but classic edgy. So yeah, I kind of have, you know, like three or four different styles. That's why people ask me, what style are, you know, what style are you where you take these quizzes and I'm kind of all over the place. The one thing that I can tell you um, never, ever, ever looks good on me is bohemian. Bohemian styles and me, like they don't mix. I don't know. I just cannot pull them off as easily as I see other people do it. Um, it's a little too, not uncapped, but just, I like structure. I like things that have angles and lines and structure and fit a certain way. And bohemian looks are flirty and frilly and I don't know, it's not my style of dress. So that is the one thing that I can tell you my clothing really never goes towards is the bohemian style. Although I admire it so much and I love it and I will literally buy things hoping that I can pull it off and then they hang in my closet and I just can't. Um, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't go, I don't know. Um, so yeah, anyway, just an everyday outfit and let me stand back there and I'll show you and then I'll come back and explain it. Okay, so first up, my crossbody. I tend to carry a crossbody during the day because it is just simple. I can get in and out of a car, um, walk into buildings, or you know, do whatever I need to do with both my kids' hands, um, and I don't have to carry you know something in the crook of my arm or you know on my shoulder or anything. It's just across me. I've got just my simple, you know, everyday things in here. This is a Kate Spade. Um, bow bag. It's got like a little bow here and then it's this gold and it's got really pretty. I can make it shorter like if I really did want to carry it on my shoulder I can make the straps shorter but this is the inside and I literally I mean it's like basics. My wallet, um, gum, my compact, my phone goes in here when I have my phone, um, floss which I have to carry all the time. I've got an area on this side that is really 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 bad and then um, my gum, my gum, my uh, lip product. And that's about it. I've got, what else do I have in here? Oh, my Fast Track T25 um, booklet with like recipes and stuff. And that's it. I mean, there's some loose money, but real bare minimum kind of, you know, everyday things that I might need. I don't need uh, to put a diaper or wipes in there or anything like that. I carry wipes loosely like in my car with me. Um, and anything else my kids carry, they have their own, like you can see my son's backpack, my daughter has a purse that she uses. So I'm kind of just down to my bare essentials um, when we are running around or just, you know, throughout the day. So yeah, I like this for that reason. And like I said, you can easily do this to the straps and make it smaller. You just loop them through 
and then put the flap over and it makes it like a smaller handbag. So I like that. I chose gold. I've had this, I think since Valentine's Day. This was my Valentine's Day present from my family. Um, gold because so many of my favorite things have like a gold buckle or a gold shoe. And those are like, you know, my shoes or my belts. And so I thought this would go well with all of that. So yeah, that's my gold bag. And then um, my shoes are my Tory Burch. And this, see, it's got the, and that was kind of the big thing is I didn't want like a Tory Burch. So my husband's like, oh, we want to get you, you know, a little crossbody. What kind do you want? You want Tory Burch? And I'm like, no, because I have so many Tory Burch shoes. If I want to carry like the bag and the shoes together, it's going to look weird because it's going to be like all Tory, you know, Tory purse or Tory shoe. Um, so I thought, you know, the different, I don't know, just to change it up. So yeah, this is Tory Burch sandal. I forget what um, style this is, but they're my favorite everyday kind of summer sandal. Just that tan color goes with everything. Um, and then my shorts, they are from Target. They are Mossimo. They're like, they're yellow, but they're color is called lime. Um, so yeah, the pockets stick out way too far on them, but they're awesome. I love them. They fit really nicely. Um, the color on the tag said lime, so that's why I said they're lime, but they're really, they're like a yellow color. Um, and then my chambray button down, or yeah, this is chambray. It's not denim. Denim is a little thicker. Um, this is from The Gap. I have one from Target, Mossimo, and then one from The Gap. So this one's from The Gap. And then my necklace, which it has the yellow or the lime in it, but it's also got all these other really pretty stones. Um, this is from Walmart. It's kind of one of those things that you pass up when you're like in the grocery store and you're like, wow, I need that, I need that. So yeah, this is from Walmart. I purchased two of them. And since I have gone back looking for both either this one or the other one because I posted a picture on Instagram and asked everybody to guess what this was or where it was from, like nobody would guess where it was from. And the first person who got it correctly was a longtime subscriber, kind of a friend um, of mine who lives here in Texas. And she was like, Walmart, and I was like, yes. And then as I was going to message her and tell her I'm gonna get one for you, um, for guessing correctly, she's like, do I get one? And so I said, yeah, like I was just gonna tell you that. Um, so I've been back two times in search of this one or the other one that I purchased and I can't find them. So I'm waiting for them to restock and then I think I'm gonna buy one for her and one to give away um, through YouTube. So I'm waiting, these were $10 a piece and it's crazy because they're really nice, just, you know, jeweled pieces. They're not very heavy, they're not light or flimsy by any means, but they're really pretty and I love, you know, that I like how it looks against a neck that's bare like this, like if you had just a bare shirt. Um, but then also under the popover or even over it, like you could easily, well, I made this one kind of tight, but you could easily wear it the way that, well, this is kind of how everybody wore their necklaces last fall over their button down like that and it just looks really pretty it gives that like extra little pop of color and then if you want to wear like a strong earring it doesn't compete too much because you've got this covering it and just this peeking through so yeah but right now I'm just liking it peeking out from under like that okay so there's my necklace I love it it's just really really pretty okay and on my nails, I've got Zoya, um, the color Maya, which it's a really pretty kind of coral color. It's um, actually one of the first corals that stays coral after I top it with a top coat. Typically, my orange shades of nail polish, when I cover with a top coat, a clear coat, change orange. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but and it's only my orange shades. Every other color that I wear on my nails stays the same color when I, you know, cover it with the top coat, but with a clear coat, orange always either darkens or dulls down. It doesn't ever really stay the same, but this one actually stayed the color that it is. It's kind of a toss-up between a salmon orange, if that makes any sense. So I love that. I have it on my toes as well, um, but I don't show you my toes. I hate my, I don't, I, I shouldn't say I hate my feet, but I really do not care for my own feet. Um, so yeah, I never show them. I never even Instagram pictures of them because I just can't stand them. So, there's that, and then on my face, I will tell you, I have on the MAC Studio Fix Foundation, the MAC Gentle Mineralized Blush with the Hard Candy Living Doll Blush on the apples. 
I usually wear two shades. I think I've told you that before. Two shades of blush, one all over and then one kind of concentrated on the apples. Um, and then my eyes I did with the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, which I am, wow, like running through, literally. There's one color that I've hit pan on and it's the, the Naked Butt color. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to go buy a whole new one just for that color. So it's crazy. Um, on my lips, I've got Bites Retsina, which looks like this. I love the shape of their lip sticks. They're pretty. And every shade has like a different shape to the lipstick. So it's like, you know, whatever shape you might make with your lipstick. I don't make mine this way. I think mine's a little bit more pointy. Um, but yeah, the tops are all different shaped. And this is Retsina. It's just a really pretty nude color. So there's that, and that is it. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend so far. Um, I will share with you two products that I had to pick up because they're just kind of my like essentials. Um, and they're, they're MAC, these two. And this first one is Fix Plus, which I've had the same bottle of Fix Plus for well over five years. Um, I remember using it the day of my wedding to set my makeup, and it was the big white kind of spray package. It was like before MAC repackaged all their products. Um, so yeah, I've had it for literally years and loved it. Um, so I went ahead and got another one because I finally used it all and this is just the Fix Plus and now it's in this packaging. Not the big, I mean the other one was like, it was a big bottle, uh, probably about this tall but big like around. Um, so here's the Fix Plus and I like that. I like that you can close it so you can lock it. Uh, which means my kids don't get sprays out of it because my son is obsessed with spray and lotion right now. Um, so he gets everything and tries to spray it. But you can easily turn it to lock it. So there's that one. And that is my finishing spray. I do this after I put my makeup on, before I put my mascara on, I will set my makeup, which is like maybe three or four sprays. Although I have caught myself like spraying five or six times um, because it's just so refreshing and it feels so good. And then your face is like wet and you can't touch it for a good two seconds. Um, but, you know, it's, I just like the way it keeps my makeup on all day long and it makes it look really kind of soft and pretty. Um, so yeah, like two or three spays and that's enough. And that's uh, before I put my mascara because if you put it on after you put your mascara, your mascara will run, you'll get it under here. And when you blink, it'll get on your lids. So I always do it before and then I'll do my mascara once that's dry. And before, I know it's weird, I went all the way to the end of my makeup routine and now I'm going to the beginning. Um, before I usually start my makeup, even before I put moisturizer on, I like to use MAC strobe cream. And the cream, the strobe cream comes in strobe cream or strobe lotion. I prefer the cream, it's a little bit thicker. Um, the lotion is thinner, like more runny. You can use it as a highlighter under your makeup, on top of your makeup, really anywhere, any, anywhere you'd like a kind of shimmer to your makeup if that makes any sense. So here it is. It's this. This is my old one. It's about here. So I've got the new one in here and they're the same package. I go through probably one of these a year, literally underneath everything. There's the actual cream and I'll swatch it on my hand so you guys can see. Wow, that's a lot. Whoops. Okay. That's more than I would even need on my face. Basically, I just get it on my fingertips, tap it in, and then start putting it onto my face. Staying away from this area right here because if it travels from here into or down from your lids, it will burn your eyes. Your eyes will feel so irritated. Not burn, like make them red or anything, but just it's an uncomfortable feeling. I've done that before where I get it too close and I end up having to wash all my makeup off about an hour or two later because it's traveled some. It's just uncomfortable. Um, so there it is. It's very refreshing. I know it has green tea in it. Add glow and vitality to tired, stressed out skin when needed. I know it has green tea in it, so it's got like a really cool effect on your skin, um, but it does really wake you up. And there, can you see the, no, you can't. There we go. And when I smooth it out, this is what it looks like. So I'll do one half of my hand that way, because I really put way too much. You can see. Okay, so can you see the half of my hand right here that I smoothed it out onto versus my bare skin? And it just kind of has this like ethereal, you know, just little glow, really pretty versus my bare, which is just meh, meh skin. <laughs> so yeah, I really do like the strobe cream underneath my makeup. It just gives you that added 
luminosity to your skin, especially when you layer your makeup on top. And it does not make me oily, you can see on my hand. Do you see the little shimmer? Just glowy. It does not make me oily or anything like that. Uh, works well as a moisturizer before my makeup. The only thing is, is if you wear this as your moisturizer, you will need an SPF because it doesn't have any SPF in it. And um, for those of us who are pale or just like SPF, um, it's very important to wear sun protectant. So that is my outfit, my everyday outfit and two of my everyday products. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.